welcome to this video in which I would like to show you how you can find existing slides within the library and include those into your presentations. If you have started PowerPoint and Empower is installed, you will see the Empower ribbon here on top. There are two ways and two places on how you can find these slides that are existing in the library. The first one is if you go to the library section and then click on library. And the other one is if you go to the inserting section, which is right next to library, and then go to slides. I will start by going into the library with you first. And once you click on the symbol, the Empower Library opens up, a new window opens, and then you see that you have four different sections within the library, which, is, which are the favorites, the company library, the user library, and the corporate design templates, which is filled for you with content from from the administrators from your company. If you want to look for existing slides, you will need to go to the company library. For us, it's divided into slides and presentations. And if you click on the different folders, you can look for the slides you would like to include. You can do so by simply clicking on one of the slides and say insert, but also double clicking on the slides and then they will insert immediately to the presentation. You can also use the search window, which is here and the top of the window. And here you can use for any content you would like to search. I will do so by typing in empower. And then you will see that all different contents with the words empower are shown and can be included into the presentation. There are different elements you can include which is here, for example, a presentation, which is shown with this symbol. You can also include pictures, elements, and also individual slides, which are available when you see this little icon in front of the slide name or the file name. You can either choose one slide, double click or insert, if you choose several slides at once, you can also then use the insert button and the presentations or the slides will be included in your presentation. Once you have finalized your presentation, you can save this if you go to the save button here and then the window asks you if you want to save one slide or several slides if you have included several or selected several ones, but you can also save a presentation, which I would like to do now. And then you can either say save or save as. You will then go to the user library and you see that you can't click on save here because it's grayed out. There is one essential step you need to do before, which is creating a new folder, which you can do by clicking on the symbol. And then you can just type in the name open the folder and then you can save your presentation. The upload usually takes some time. So I will show you now in the meantime, while it's uploading, how you can also insert presentations within the inserting sections. So you will click on slides and then the quick access bar on the right window opens up where you can also navigate it to. You have the choices here to always make this sidebar available if you tick this to yes. And then this sidebar will always be available for you and always be displayed. If you go then to the company, which is a mirror to the company library you've been just here within this section, you can also type in the word you would like to use for and you see that similar content is available, which you can also then include into your presentation by double clicking again or selecting different more than one slide and click the insert button here at the bottom of the window. You have seen in the meantime that the sync has been finished, which was the window that was shown. So once I go to the library, to my user library again, you see here that the presentation I have created before is now available. I have talked about the different elements within the library 
And I also would like to show you how you can mark different presentations or slides as favorites. If I just go with the presentation I created, I have two ways on how I can mark this as a favorite. A favorite might be just a presentation or a slide that you will use often. You can either go to the top of the Empower Library window again and say a favorite. You can also just right click on the respective element and say here a favorite as well. And you will see that this little star is now added and it is included within the favorites. You can also do so by selecting individual slides. If you go to add favorites here, you will see that these elements I have marked as favorites are now available within the favorite section of the library. The last thing I would like to show you now is the update function within Empower and within the library. And how you can do so is easily if you go to the library section again here within the Empower ribbon and you see that this, this button here, update, which you, when you click on it, tells you whether there is any update to the content you created, to the presentations you created that is not updated anymore. And if so, you have several choices on how you can work with these updates. I hope this video helped you on how you can find and use existing slides for your presentation. And I wish you good luck and success by trying this out yourself.